records. They had 11 quarterback hits and four total sacks. In addition to the two interceptions, they're a big part of this win today. So let's hear from some of our defensive players, Dean Marlowe and Tredavious White. Uh, schematically, I wasn't in the right right position, to be honest. Uh, and I knew I messed up, but I can only try and make the best out of out of the situation. And I think my instincts kind of kicked in to to get back uh, where I needed to be. And I just, you know, I, I seen him quickly throw the ball, and I just put my hands up and grabbed it. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we it's, it starts during the week, man, and we uh, we make sure that we play as, as one heartbeat. And uh, when things go wrong, you know, we go as best as we say in the defensive room that you know our team is led by our defense, and you know any any team that has a strong defense, you know, gives himself a chance to to win the ball game. Uh, so, you know, we we just told each other, hey, we got to take it. We got to get as many takeaways as possible. And, you know, we did a good job. To go back to the last spot for that interception, what do your coaches say to you on the sideline after that then of obviously making a huge play? Or your teammates even? Man, just, just say, hey, like, you know, you you see ball and you get ball. And, uh, but right, man. I'm living right. Got to be living right. Uh, you know, just just for me to be be schematically uh, not in the right position, but um, for me to kind of have a panic mode and get back and make a play, um, you know, hey, like if you're not in the right position, you better make a play, you better make it, and I made it. Trey, it feels like you've taken Kyrie kind of under his wings or under your wings since he's gotten here, and there were multiple big plays from him today. What did you see in his game, and how big of a step is this forward for him? Oh, uh, I mean. Kyrie is just, he's, he's such a student of the game. Uh, just the way that he attacked the week, uh, coming in on uh, on off days, catching balls. So him catching that pick is something that he's been waiting on. But uh, he's, a, he's a student, man. And he, he really wants it. His desire to, to be the best that he can be is just is, is next to none. The way he prepared, the way he come in and take care of his body as a rookie, man. Uh, the success that he had today is not a surprise. Just the way he you know, prepared himself throughout the week and, uh, and weeks prior to to be, be in this moment and be ready. So I'm um, definitely proud of him. Uh, Trey, when you were um, in the photo uh, with Tamar yesterday at the facility that uh, Matt Milano posted, um, it's like you guys were kind of embracing a little bit. Um, could you just describe that moment and what it was like to share that with him? Yeah, for him to be in the building, man, it, it brought – smiles and happy tears to, to everybody in the building um you know just to see him walking around healthy recovering well uh you know we we sat next to him uh, all around the facility and just kind of asked him you know a couple questions on how he was feeling and all that kind of stuff and just all we needed all we needed was to see his face um and see him walking around once we knew he was healthy you know we kind of had a weight lifted off our shoulders but then actually seeing him in person um it was amazing man uh every every guy on the team just you know was so happy to see him Ray, could you recall that experience? You said previously that you're really affected by the injury, and just being able to see him was, was that like a breath of fresh air for you? Oh, for sure. Uh, I got my hug though. I know that. Uh, but uh, it was good to see him, see his mom, see his dad. Just, just overfilled with joy, man. Just to see him, see him. We was doing the walkthrough, and he was just sitting down in the uh, in the end zone by himself with his parents. And uh, before we went out to, to do the walkthrough, everybody went over and just talked to him for a minute. And it was just, it was. Like Dean said, it was refreshing, man, just to see him, just to see the smile and just to touch him, you know what I mean, just to see what we experienced the last, uh, last two weeks, man. So it's, it, was, it was great to see him. It gave us a lot of, a lot of juice, too. So um, that, was, that was a great sight to see. Trey, how do you describe the team's energy after getting to see DeMar yesterday? Uh, like I said, I, I think, you know, well, I know it lifts our spirits for sure. Uh, it gave us a lot of juice. Uh, we were even juiced up for the walkthrough. You know, that's 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 something that we not, never juiced up for. But to see him and just to see him walk and just to see him smile, man, it, it was it was it was a great day for us. The playoffs can be um, a grueling stretch, even under normal circumstances. Given what you guys have been through the last two weeks, and both of you could answer this, um, how do you kind of find that strength to keep pushing forward, even kind of, you know, this extra uh, emotional pull. Uh, I think when you, everything starts up top, and uh, you know, Terry to Brandon to Sean, they're great leaders, um, and you know, I think they get us mentally, physically prepared uh, to to go through trials and, and tribulations, you know, throughout 
you know, life. Um, and, you know, football has a lot to do um, with life and the lessons you learn and all that things. Uh, but, you know, it's just we we were able to just come together. I mean, no one is ever in this in this together, you know, like um, no matter what a team, um, you know, a company. It's just when when things are tough, uh, you got to lean on lean on people. You got to, um, you know, no, no person is, is human uh, and I'm superhuman. Sorry. And we all need we all need people. Um, so just the great leadership from uh, from up top and the leaders on our team, um, you know, it's a it's a domino effect. And we we all trust in one another and we believe in one another. How about you, uh, you know, just to piggyback off what he said, you know, we got great leaders at the top, uh, great support system around the building. Uh, I mean, we we've been through a lot, you know, as a team this year, just from two storms to Dawson Knox losing his brother, to the to the top shooting, uh, to Josh Allen hurting his elbow, to losing Von Miller, losing Micah. So, I mean, it just shows you the resiliency we have as a group. Uh, and it, but it, it takes the whole building to not just the players, the support staff, uh, our people that cook us food in the cafeteria, they're so great. They lift us up in the morning, too, with their energy. So, I mean, it's not only the players, but, you know, it's the support system that we have around the building that, you know, might just make this thing roll because it's just not us. We need a lot of support, you know, from talking to people to just leaning on each other. I mean, our strength staff is great. Our nutrition staff is great. Our training staff is great. So it's just like it's not just the players. It's the whole building, and uh, we, we're one big family. So we go through everything together, and we, we lift each other up and through good times and bad times. So. Great on the back end today. Just not, not super competitive every week. But there just seems to be an extra dose of scrappiness on your guys' part on the back end, not just with clean pass breakups, but breakouts to force incompletions. Can you just maybe talk about the collective I mean, there? Yeah, our coach, uh, if, Coach Butler, if you if you ever see him on game day, uh, he's so scrappy. Well, doing practice and everything. So uh, it's just like, like like Dean said, it starts at the top, man. Our coach is so fiery and he's so competitive. So he breathes that into us. So uh, we know going to the game, uh, Waddle and Hill, those guys are the best in the league, you know, so we got to match their intensity and we knew that we're going to have to go up there and, and, and face them and make it tough for them, knowing that we're not going to completely shut them out, just make it extremely tough on them, just land on them, just try to make it make it as tough as, as we can for them. And uh, fortunate enough, we, we were able to get our, our hands on some footballs today and knock them out. Last week, either Sunday or Monday, Sean said that he thought the last game was your best game of the season coming back. Now to have some big plays today to build on top of that, just – how are you feeling about where you're at and what you did today? Oh, I mean, we winning, so it makes it much better. But uh, like, like I said, weeks previous, man, uh, this this is a long journey for me. Uh, still getting back, still rehabbing it, still doing everything I can to stay on top of on top of of the rehab process and getting ready for games and, and practicing my uh, my craft. So uh, it's something that I'm, I'm gonna have to attack. This is my new normal now. So. Hopefully I can continue to do what I'm doing, and the, the training staff has been great. There was guys helping me out and continue to, to rehab my knee to make sure I'm ready for practice, make sure I'm ready for the game. So uh, this is a you know pretty much a two two year thing, and I, I went into it knowing that, but I wanted to attack it with me coming back in one year and being who I am. So um, it's it's a fun process uh, at the back end, but uh, I mean I've been doing the best I could, and I've been having help along the way. So those guys have been making it making it real great for me. Awesome. Thank you. All right, that's Dean Marlowe and Tredavious White, a big part of today's game, of today's win. It was awesome to see the defense step up when the offense really needed it. When you needed a three and out, when you needed an interception, the defense was there in the second half to hand the ball back to the offense. Now, we kind of looked at uh, the possessions that the offense had during uh, Trey and Dean's interview. The offense had 16 possessions. They scored on 37% of those drives. They usually average 45% score percent per drive field goals or touchdowns so they were well below their average today but when you have 16 possessions and you're only able to score on six six of those that tells a story of what the Bills kind of need to patch up here in this week before they face another good team heading into Highmark Stadium. Certainly when you have a lot of possessions it, you can kind of chalk it up to your own defense a little bit too. The Dolphins had uh, possessions um, of 59 seconds of, you know, they had 
30 seconds, 22 seconds, 17 seconds on a punt. I mean, it was just, you know, 53 seconds after a kickoff. Uh, one minute, one minute, 17 seconds. I mean, there were some very there were some short, short possessions, for sure. possessions for the uh, Miami offense, particularly in that first half. And the dip Bills were doing the same thing. In fact, when the, the Bills turned it over three times, one of them led directly to points on the sack strip fumble. Your, this defense was really put in a bind, and they needed, the offense needed help from the late in the, late in the first quarter, early in the second quarter, until deep in the second half.